Oh, winter is here. Winter isn't coming, it's here. You guys may have noticed if you've been watching some of my videos lately, and if you have, awesome. And if you haven't, and this is your first time here, hey, welcome. Always great to see new people. That's you, hopefully. I've been doing a lot of uh, gear and just things that are in regards to, let's say, heating. Because of winter, it seems like a good time of year to be talking about that kind of stuff. And today we're gonna follow suit. And we're gonna be talking about some winter gloves. One of the things that you may have seen in some of my other videos is that I'm really trying to figure out if you can buy inexpensive heated gear. And does it even work? I did a vest, which came in around that, I believe $40, $50 mark heated, which actually I've been very happy with and I will wear it today when we go out to test these gloves because it is cold outside today. We're sitting at about minus 11 right now with wind chill coming in minus 17, 18 degrees, expected to actually go down a little bit. So, a little chilly. We went and ordered a pair of leather gloves. Now these aren't like ski gloves or anything like that. Leather driving gloves. So for those of us that have a car or you're on the bus or you're walking and you would just like to have something that looks a little nicer and warms your hands up a little better. Let's see if these things work. This is the box that I came in right here. So. That's, that's it right there. And of course we got this from banggood.com. Took about a month to get here, just so you guys know, in Canada. I did free shipping, so you can get it faster if you wanna pay for additional shipping. This is the box and it opens like this. Okay, so this is everything in this box. What do you get? Well, you get the gloves. Now, I ordered them in an extra large and I did this because Usually when you buy something I find from China, their sizing is a little different than here. So normally I take a large glove, uh, but I went with the extra large. So we'll see if that was a good idea or not. You get the charger. This is the charger that you get. And you get two batteries. 7.4 volt, 3000 milliamps. Okay, that's what it says on it. Uh, other than that, all Chinese. Put those over here. You get, I have no idea what this is, some kind of bag. Okay, I have no idea. And you get these, which, um, hopefully you guys can see that. Can't read it, have no idea. And more stuff that I have no idea. Be aware, you're not going to get anything that is legible if you are somewhere that doesn't understand this language. So no English in the box, as well as you get this, okay? Whatever that is. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna go charge these batteries, make sure they're charged, and we will come back when that's done and we'll see how they feel. Okay, so we're back. They charged for about, my guess, about an hour, hour and a half to get them full charge. Just so you guys can see this on here, there's a little tiny light right there. And if it's red, that means they're charging. If it goes green, that means the batteries are charged. So they went green and we're good. These, again, just so you can see, there's like a double thing here, which I'm not completely 100% sure. My only guess is that you could plug these straight in because it's the same adapter as there if you wanted to, I guess. This though, plugs in to the top and you're good to go. Maybe there's something in the manual, but again, I can't read it. So it is what it is. Going in the gloves though. So you'll see in the gloves, here they are. They, they seem like a nice glove. They're not, it's just a really soft. It says leather, it says leather on the site. So there's no tags, there's no nothing in here. Inside though is nice. It's got like a nice little, like a felt, which is good. Sizing wise, just so you guys can see, remember how I said I usually take a large? These fit actually really good for me. So I'm glad I went with the extra large. I don't think I would want the small. This zipper part here is where you are going to put your battery. So you have a little bit of adjustment here. Now the one thing that I noticed is that when it's on here or here, it doesn't really make that big of a difference because it doesn't cinch. They almost need another one because that's got lots of room it seems. Just kind of be aware. That's to me a little bit more of a design thing. So let's put the batteries in here and see if these things heat up at all. Okay, so batteries are in. 
Here we go, put these on. First thing to be aware of is that, oh, you can already feel them heating up already. This is the one thing that you have to be aware of. And I'm gonna see if you guys can see this. Hopefully you can. Ready? I'm gonna do it here on this one. So you see where the batteries sit? You get this kind of spot up here where they're sitting. It would have been nice if they would have taken the battery compartment, which is here, and somehow moved it into this spot right here. That I think would have been nicer, if possible. But it sits up here, so it's a, I don't know, it's a, it's a little, little awkward, right? Makes your wrists look like they're all inflated. But just so you guys know, quite warm already. Actually, they're heating up. Heat in these seems to be, as far as I can tell, top of hand. So top of hand, and in the fingers, and in the feels like in the thumb too. Actually, nothing on this side but definitely on the tops of the hands. What we're gonna do is two things. Again, I don't think these are really designed for let's say well, skiing or anything like that where you're gonna be outside for long, long periods of time. Really more of a driving glove. I'm gonna go outside for a quick walk, go pick up the mail. Then we're gonna go take them out in the car because that's really where you'd use them and we'll see how they do. So let's go do that now, shall we? All right. Okay, so I wish you guys could feel how warm these gloves are getting. And one of the keys that you want to always do when you get heated gear is make sure that they're on before you go outside because they need to kind of heat up. After they've heated, then it's easier for them to keep that warmth. So you can definitely feel them cool down a little bit once they get outside. But like I said, it is like minus 18 out. So it's chilly. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm just gonna go walk, get the mail, and I'll be right back. All right, so nothing in the mail, sad. But so far, you can still feel a bit of warmth, not crazy amount of warmth, but my hands aren't cold, but you can definitely feel that they've lost some of the heat that they originally had. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go in the car and wear them, because in the car you'd be a little bit more protected from things like wind and see how they feel driving and see how they feel or if they just keep their heat. All right, let's go do that. Look at my car, it's all frosty, frosty. All right, so we're in the car, driving, got the gloves all turned on and heated. Um, a few things to be aware of. There's no visual lights or anything on this to tell you that the gloves are on you just know it because they're warm and you plug them in I guess there's no heat adjustment so literally there's just on or off so there's no low medium high or anything like that but again it's like $40 so there's I wouldn't be complaining too much so the one thing that you have to remember is because there's no light or anything like that is that when you get home after that you make sure that you unplug them or else you're gonna drain your battery. Now I will say that here in the car, they are definitely much warmer than they felt when I was outside. And I apologize for my camera being probably a little shaky. It's on a little mountain we're driving and the road's bumpy. So it is what it is. But yeah, definitely a lot warmer. You can definitely feel the heat coming up through the back of your hands um, whereas outside they felt like they were a little cooler and a little harder to, to recognize that there was actually heat in them so I guess the real question that you have to ask is you know are you going to be using these mostly as driving gloves or are you going to be using them as actual outdoor gloves if you're looking at something to use outdoors you know I'd probably say that you might want to spend possibly a little bit more money and actually get a true winter glove. If you're looking for something that's got a little bit of style to it and you mostly want it as a driving glove, so something that you can use in the car to keep your hands warm while you're driving because one of the biggest issues for me when you're driving is your steering wheel is cold. So something like this is definitely gonna help. I normally wear leather gloves in the winter when I'm driving because of the fact that the steering wheel is so cold 
until the car warms up. So being able to have gloves that are heated definitely helps without question. I'm definitely gonna wear them. You know, 45 bucks is not a huge investment to have any kind of heated gear. They come with the batteries. How long are the batteries gonna last? I don't know. But again, as driving gloves, really you only need your gloves to last an hour, maybe not even, because at that point, your car should be all warmed up. Anyway, I think this is a win. I'm gonna put a link down below for you guys if you'd like to actually pick them up. So you can go down there and get a pair like me. Just go do it. All right, I'm gonna head home and we'll finish this video, all right. All right guys, so there you go. There's the gloves. And uh, you know, for 45 bucks, I think they're good. There are better gloves out there, without question. But it all depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for just something for driving, you know, looking for something for walking around a little bit, I think these are great. They're nice, they're stylish. And what, what more do you want? $45. I got some other heated gloves that I bought two years ago. It cost me 200 bucks. Not much warmer than these, to be honest with you. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you there. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yeah, cold cold out. We will see you again in the next video. Later.